How did we let five minute crafts get this far? Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Not too long ago, I made a video that everyone seemed to really love. And it's so funny because that entire video, I was very annoyed. And it's because I was watching some five minute crafts, much like any other person that watches five minute crafts. I somehow can't get enough and need to watch more of it. So uh, today we are watching 33 girly hacks you didn't know before, courtesy of one of five minute crafts, many YouTube channels. Why do they have so many YouTube channels? and it's full of the same content over and over again. This one is called Five Minute Crafts Versus. Versus who? I don't know. Maybe there's like a two minute craft out there somewhere. <sighs> <sighs> Buckle in. So go grab some snacks, go grab some tea, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on those post notifications. And let's get right into this. I just hope to at least learn one hack from this. So we're just sm- What is the hack to smash my lipstick? Okay, unkept eyebrows pennies like your own DIY tweezers Wait a minute. would that work no way I try to pluck them with my fingers all the time and it never works out so I don't think I'd have the hand-eye coordination for some tweezers but um I mean I'm, I'm willing to try it probably pluck my skin instead okay so you're telling me a grown-ass woman is too short to ride this ride so she's she's gonna do what she's gonna roll her sock to make herself tall. A grown ass woman can't go on a roller coaster because she's too short. Also, you're telling me this man said no, and then she comes back two minutes later and he's like, oh, you somehow grew an inch in two minutes. That's believable, you're allowed on the ride. Really, five minute crafts? Not to be that person, but there's like a reason you can't go on rides if you're too short and it's for safety. So like, take the L, sis, I'm sorry. So what's she doing? We got some lip balm. We're taking Vaseline. Oh no, no. As lip balm? No. So I feel like a lot of people think that Vaseline moisturizes. I hate to break it to you, it doesn't. Vaseline locks in moisture. So I mean, if your lips are already like moisturized and you're putting Vaseline on it, then yeah, sure, you can stick a tube of lipstick inside your Vaseline or just stick your finger in your Vaseline and just. That might make too much sense for five minutes. So we're putting on lipstick. Yep, that's the hack. How do I, what the f What are you doing? N what? You really expect me to believe that that lipstick was so highly pigmented that you could put it in your hair and temporarily dye your hair with it? Five minutes crafts thinks I was born yesterday. There is no way that works. Also, why? Like what if you have really expensive lipstick? I paid $55 for this lipstick and you expect me to just put it in my hair just to color my hair for funsies. Go to Party City and go get some of that hairspray that like temporarily dyes your hair. It's like maybe five bucks max. Dirty hair, okay. We're gonna give me a good hack. What, why is there a hot glue gun for a dirty hair hack? What? Uh, you're kidding. If I have dirty hair, the hack is to get a beanie and glue hair extensions on it? Or just wash your hair. Or, great idea, don't know how no one thought of it before, dry shampoo? The sleek bun? Sleek hair pony? I see why this is a girly hack I didn't know. Dry elbow? Too hard. Like the moisturizer too hard or too liquid? You should probably get some new moisturizer then. I have never seen someone try to like moisturize their elbows by sticking their elbow in the tube of moisturizer. Just use your fingers. What? So the hack was if your elbow doesn't fit into the moisturizer or whatever the heck that was, flip it upside down so it's on the lid so then you can rub your elbow in it. It wasn't to use your own fingers and then rub it on your elbow. Who is writing and coming up with this? Okay, we're applying some nail polish. What's my nail polish hack? Because one hand always looks crusty. Is it like I had a dry what? How is this supposed to help me dry my nails faster? You're not even painting your nails. You made your own nails? But then you have to glue them and wait for the glue to dry. I am so confused. You made your own press on nails. 
That is so much work. <laughs> I don't understand how this is a hack if I'm making my own press on nails and I'd have to have like a gel lamp for it. So instead of like going to the store and getting $4 press on nails, the Dollar Tree has press on nails, by the way. I'm gonna go out and buy a gel lamp. If you're bored and wanna complicate it for yourself, this is a great hack. Anything else, this is horrible. <laughs> Massaging your leg, okay, a massage brush. A scalp massager. Yeah, it's for massages. What was the hack? That you can use a massage brush to massage yourself? Also, I've actually heard and have been told that when you're using a massage brush or like a scalp massager, you don't wanna use it in the shower. You don't wanna use it when your hair is wet. You actually wanna do it right before you hop in the shower to like wake up and activate your hair follicles because when your hair is wet, it is actually way more sensitive and it's more likely to like fall out or be ripped out versus when it's dry and stronger. So um, actually that was a hack from Five Minute Crafts to lose hair. So thank you for that. We got a gigantic zit. What you gonna do about it? Green eyeshadow for a zit? Why are we putting concealer on green eyeshadow? Oh. To create your own color corrector? They made like their own redness corrector. Does that work? I'm kind of intrigued. No, 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 I'm not falling for it. I don't think green eyeshadow is actually good to be putting on zits like that anyways. Like, she didn't even prime it. That was too much. If you have zits and you want to cover them up, take concealer, put it on the zit, let that concealer dry up, and then just go over with your foundation and your concealer, and that'll probably conceal it better than this. <laughs> okay, so no eyeliner. What? Can you actually do that? Stop. Can anyone test that out? I'm very curious now to know if that works. I don't think I have eyeliner. I only have like pencil eyeliners. I'm very curious. Okay, knotted hair. Yeah, girl, you trying to rip your hair out? It was an extension? Y yeah. What is the hack? Take off your extensions to get the knots out? Bruh. Get real. Flat hair? Does that help? Also, who is laughing at you? Girl, you're telling me your friend laughs at you for having flat hair from a beanie and you're still gonna call her your friend and give her a present? Uh, I'd be keeping that present. Who's laughing now? Ha ha. What are you, a sponge? Uh, no. For freckles? You're joking. If you really, really want to add fake freckles, get yourself an eyeliner pencil. You don't have to be this extreme. The sponge sounds like it would actually maybe hurt. Just eyeliner. I thought these were supposed to be hacks. Old brush, cosmetic oil. Who just has cosmetic oil lying around over the candle just to make it look new again? I mean, Huh? I would like to know how much cosmetic oil cost and then I would compare that to a new brush. <laughs> how much is cosmetic oil? Seven dollars? Go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself a new brush if you're really that tight. Old manicure? Uh, yeah, this is how you soak it off. I mean, okay, that's nice. Don't know how that's a life hack. That's how you soak it off. I guess the dental floss if we really want to be technical. You're out of perfume, what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna yeet that glass bottle that's empty. Just yeet it across the room. So you're taking a perfume sample. I've never seen a perfume sample like that. With the aluminum, with like the actual container in there and make your own perfume? Uh, see, I've only ever seen the perfume samples of like the little papers. I've never seen it like that. I, why'd you put the container it was in in there? Listen, alcohol dries your skin. So this looked like way more alcohol to perfume, I don't know, scent, probe, whatever they called it, ratio. Get some testers, get some samples, get some off-brand. Just go get a new one. I hate five minute grass. Boring hair color. Is that tissue paper? There is no way. There is literally no way that works. And you expect to believe it's that bright. No, stop, we're going back. Okay, look at the little tissue paper water. Look, you stick your hair in, look how light that is. And you expect to believe it looks like that? Girl, you went to Hot Topic and got some dye and did that, don't lie to me. Water and oil. We're sticking a beauty blender. With oil, really? What kind? Olive, vegetable? 
that's a big difference. Does the oil leave a residue on the beauty blender? I feel like you're better off just getting a new one at that point. Like if your beauty blender is looking like water, go get a new one. <laughs> Probably has way too much bacteria in it anyways. Light eyebrows. Okay, we got some aloe and we got coffee. You're telling me you're dyeing your eyebrows with coffee grounds. So you can just have coffee grounds in your eyebrows. If you get yourself a pencil right now and just color it in, how is this a hack? I guess if you really like coffee, it must be nice to be able to just, mmm, coffee grounds. But like, it, it's literally like you have coffee grounds in your eyebrows. So yep, no, not the best hack. Frizzy hair. Oh, I've seen putting like a dryer sheet on it. Aluminum foil on the handle? I, okay, interesting. Curious to see how that works. I've always heard of like putting a dryer sheet and that would make it not so frizzy. What'd you lose, girl? Your lipstick. Uh. Why did we do that? So we're just taking a tube of lipstick, we cut it to put into an empty eyeshadow container to use as eyeshadow to use in our lips. Okay, let me get this straight. The hack here, five minutes, is to take a tube of lipstick, cut off the lipstick, melt down the lipstick, and then use your finger instead to apply the lipstick. I just cut up my $50 lipstick because five minute crafts told me to, and now I'm gonna use it as lipstick again. Uh, I can't. So we're putting on lipstick and we're rubbing it, okay? Is that, that's the hack. Oh, can't reach the top shelf, get a stool. That's the hack. No, we're. Stop, is that supposed to be freckles? You're kidding me, right? You're, where is the phone's down button? No, absolutely not. First of all, that's gonna come off. It's not like it's actually set there. Also the hack, you really want me to go and grab some like, I don't know what that is, tea leaves, coffee grounds or whatever, and just spray it all over my face. Let it get all over my shirt too, but at least it looks like I have freckles. Bro, I step outside, one gust of wind, all my freckles are gone. Eyeliner, eyebrow pencil, and just, Dot it up. Logic. Common sense. <laughs> what we doing? Oh, we eating. But your hair got in the food. So life hack, you tie it up in a ponytail. Oh, but you don't have a ponytail. So you use your hair as a ponytail. That sounds like a nightmare. I also don't know who is able to wrap their hair around itself three times like that. That's, I'm kind of impressed by that. But real talk, this sounds like a knotted nightmare. It looks cute, just seems very difficult to um, undo. I think the most I've done is if I don't have a, a hairband, I have taken my hair and I've wrapped it around itself and then tried to make a bun out of it. But if your hair is too short and you can't make a bun, I've stuck it in my shirt, no shame. At least it's not gonna be tangled like that. So we're checking the fridge. What is that? Milk? Paramel? Chapped lips? What are you doing with that? What are we about to do? Okay, we're taking milk and we're putting it on a tissue paper. What? I, I really highly doubt it looks like that after two minutes considering how chapped those girls' lips were. Yeah, look how fake that is, bro. You, it looks like you put Elmer's glue on your lips and just let it dry up like that. I've never heard of milk moisturizing. And I don't, I don't wanna think about putting like cow titty juice on my lips to help moisturize it. So um, go get yourself some chapstick. Dr. Bronner's, they make great organic chapstick. It won't chap your lips and make it worse. So um, there's my hack for you. <laughs> So we're cleaning the mirror, okay. The hack is how to clean. The, that's a lot of blackheads. What are we gonna do about? Clean napkin. Okay, so then why'd you make it look like she was looking at her dirty napkin like I'm gonna use this? Are we making our own face mask for real? She's totally cutting out the nose hole. Yep, there's a mouth. We made our own face mask with an egg. Okay, I mean, there are like egg peeling masks out there. So I wouldn't say this is that of a far stretch. What if you're vegan? What if you're out of eggs? They literally took eyeliner and painted on those freckles to look like blackheads. That's what you need to do for your freckles hacks. I guess if you have time, you're not close to the store, you have an extra egg, sure, why not? But it's not gonna get rid of your blackheads that quickly and that easily and just after five minutes of using that face mask. So um, five minute crafts, why are you lying? What's wrong? Not enough volume. What are we gonna do about it? We're gonna pin our hair and we're, okay, actually pinning your hair and adding some hairspray, that sounds like it might actually work. Just my luck though, it would just look like this. I'd just be walking around like this. So it has potential. Am I gonna test it? Probably not. <laughs> we're on the toilet, what's wrong? You got a broken nail. Rip it off, just rip it off and fall it down and take the L. 
What are we doing with the toilet paper? Did she just walk from the bathroom, dragging all that toilet paper roll up to like her living room or whatever? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we take a little bit of toilet paper, we put it on her nail as like a bandage. I guess if you really, really wanted to, that could work. I'd just take the L. So what's this? A bald spot. No, no, no. No, that looks so bad. Oh my God, that is so obvious. Anyone got a balding man in their life that's willing to try this? <laughs> what's wrong with your hair? Okay, we're putting it in a backwards pony, a little bun. Let's go. We giving ourselves bangs. For real? I'll try this one. My hair's short now though. I literally just cut my hair. So let's just say I'm gonna put my hair in a little ponytail, in a backwards pony, and it's just gonna. Just. Yeah, no. This ain't doing it for me. I look like Zach Efron in high school musical. So maybe if you're lucky, that works for you, but um, not this girl. But hey, we tried. Uh, so hack, if you want bangs, just get bangs. <laughs> okay, but real talk. There are like hair pieces that you can buy now that are literally just bangs. I think that's easier than this. But I guess if you don't want to spend the money, okay, you know. What did I just watch? Who, I, uh... There is someone out there that Five Minute Crafts pays to write these. Just spend all day coming up with the most outrageous, ridiculous hacks that actually make your life more difficult and complicate things more than it needs to be. I want that job. Has anyone tried any of these hacks and do they actually work? I feel like most of these I was like, this is absolutely absurd. I think they take the cake with the gluing hair extensions onto the beanie if you have dirty hair. I am begging you, go wash your hair. Imagine explaining that to people when they come over. Why you got hair? your beanie like this. Why? Get in the shower. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this, give us a big thumbs up. I do have another one where I reacted to like, I think school hacks and period hacks too. Uh, if you want to see me react to some more five minute crafts, don't be afraid to like link me or send me whatever you want me to react to. Shout out of the day goes to Missy. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. We're almost at hundred K. So like seriously, like Please go follow your girl if you laughed at any point in this video. Also, follow your girl on TikTok if you want more content as well. But all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you laughed and rolled your eyes as much as I did. If you're subscribed, great. If you're not, you should totally do that. Thank you. I love you. Bye. <laughs>